Oh, hi, Taryn here with Elegant Upgrades, and we're doing something a little bit different. This will be its own kind of series. Uh, I'll still be doing furniture because that's my business and that's what I will do. However, I, most of you know, travel back and forth between Portland and California. I stay at my parents' house when I'm down here and kind of do a lot of businessy stuff down here. I get higher profits and things like that while I work down here. And then up in Portland, it's great because I get things for less to kind of fill up my stockpile. So there's pros and cons to both places. Um, and so right now, I just got back to my parents' house um, and I haven't been out in the guest house in a, in a long time. So I haven't been out here in some months. So it needs quite an update. It is, it, I want to say was done in the eighties. Uh, and it looks like it. <laughs> so there've been a couple things that have been done just to kind of make it more livable, but it's ugly. If we're being honest, it's just, it's, it's ugly. And I'm going to show you why it's so ugly because there's part of it that is just super charming and cute. And then this other main part that I cannot handle Oh, ruins everything for me. So you'll have to pardon the mess because it's kind of been a catch all. I haven't been able to get anything back out to the shop because there's uh, like five feet of snow outside um, and I can't get anything to the shop unless I can carry it above my head while I'm sinking in the snow and I don't want to. So let me give you a quick look around. All right. So it's essentially a studio apartment. This is the front door. They just picked up this little refrigerator because I have, I want to go like with an old cottage feel. So while we like the style of this refrigerator, it will have to get painted to match. But I like how it is very kind of old looking. And right now it's just the catch all for my purse and one of Lucas's book bags <laughs> and things. Um, so this is the kitchenette. Let's see if I can get it to focus better. There we go. So it's very small. It's just this one section here. And that's it. I'm making coffee right now. So I've got stuff out. But um, yeah, so there's a range over there. It is electric. There's no oven at all. So they have like a mini oven slash air fryer slash something over there. This is my grain mill that I use sourdough starter. You guys don't care about any of that, but that's what's on the counter there. So it's very small. These are the only drawers in the kitchen. All these here are fake, so they don't work. And then down here is obviously cleaning storage, pans, there's some spicy things up here and this is other. So we'll have to come up with some kind of pantry situation. I envision utilizing kind of this space here where the vacuum is and getting this kind of spun out and like maybe a mobile something, I don't know. And then over here, again, I can't get this stuff out to the shop. This is what I take with me when I go back and forth between places because it's easy to just put everything in the wagon and tow it, you know, put it in the back of my car and drag it along like that. So that's all in here. And uh, this is the thrifting stuff that I just did. So it's in here. These are tools because we just did the fire. And again, there's a huge TV that I do not want in here. It's too big for the space and I don't like TVs. There will probably be a TV out here if we're being honest, but I don't want one. And then uh, this like console situation is gonna go. So I'll probably end up doing something with that out in the shop at a later date. Then here, is just a couch we picked up off of Marketplace. I had planned on um, dyeing it. So I was going to use this couch out here because I love the legs and then I was going to dye it. Since then, we have found another couch that is incredible. I will show you guys that later. But for now, this is out here because it's convenient to sit on. And then here's just a stack of boxes because the snow has been too high for them to take out recycling. So they all get stacked up in the guest house because no one was here. So I'll be breaking all those down. There's a couple toy boxes out here because the kids sometimes can play out here. And then this is a, I say new fireplace because we just installed it, but it's a really, really old fireplace and it's incredible. I love it so, so, so much. I'll show you guys what the original one looked like, which was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. I actually liked it too, but this one, come on. Like, isn't this the prettiest thing you've ever seen in your entire life. Oh, I love it. Um, this is a wood bin, paper bin. They're going to get changed out, obviously. It's just a do whatever. Ugly internet, random bears in the window. I don't know, guys. The curtains, if I don't change them, they're getting dyed. 
This is the bed. It's going to be completely changed out. So this won't be here anymore. Okay, but can we just take a look at this carpet? What is it? It's like weird quatrefoil cheetah print, maybe scorpion. I don't know, but it is the most hideous carpet I have ever seen. Oh, but wait, there's more. It goes into the bathroom, which is where you want carpet the most, right? Yeah, me too. So anyways, bathroom is actually a really good size. It has a large shower. It's like at least a two person shower. We'll have to figure out some storage situation here. And then oak cabinet is, I mean, fine. The drawers don't work well. So I'm actually going to change this. I might keep the top, but the bottom is definitely going. I'm going to bring it up a little higher. It's just a little bit short. That's going to go. And towel. Yeah, we're just going to, we're just going to make this super cute. So, uh, lots of wood everywhere. Even the ceiling, it's too much. I like wood. You guys know that I really enjoy it, but, uh, that's too much everywhere. This is half storage on this side and the other side is control panel and hot water heater. So that closet is kind of, we're leaving it. There's nothing to do with it. And then this closet here is a full on actual closet with storage and hang stuff for hanging. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tour. This is what we're going to be working on for a bit because it's going to take me a while. I haven't decided if I'm starting on the carpets first. So long term, I'm not getting everything done that we want to get done to it right away. It's going to take a while. Um, so the carpets are going to stay for a minute, but I'm going to do some changes to it. I'm going to try. I don't know how successful I'll be, but initially I was just going to rip out the carpet and we were going to keep concrete down. But because this used to be a garage, we don't know what is on the slabs and that can kind of hinder what you can do with it. So then we were like, oh, we'll do plank flooring. We'll do tile. They ended up landing on tile. They've already picked out the tile that they want. It's a really cool cottagey type tile, except for it's incredibly expensive. So that will be a down the road purchase that is not something that's happening right now. So for right now, just to make it something that doesn't make me sad to look at, I'm going to try, I'm going to try something a little crazy. I don't even know if it'll work, but we're going to try it. I'm going to take you guys along with me. So yeah, follow along. It should be exciting. Okay, bye.